This is Michael Duarte with NBCLA for our NBC4 Sports post-game Dodgers wrap-up, joined by our NBC Sports anchor, Fred Rogan, for immediate reaction after this NLDS Game 3. Fred, well, my, my immediate reaction is simply this. Thank you, Dave Martinez. Thank you, Washington Nationals. Thank you for taking Anibal Sanchez out. And Patrick Corbin, thank you for getting pounded in each game you've pitched in the series. He loses game one. He looked terrible in the first inning. It allowed the Dodgers to jump out. But the way Washington is doing it, if they have the lead and they go to the bullpen, they bring in a starter. They go back to Patrick Corbin tonight. He was shish kebab. And not only was he beaten, but the Dodger bats woke up. And all of a sudden, you saw that little bounce in their step that they had been missing really the past week or two. And now you're thinking, they win this one 10 to 4. They can wrap this thing up tomorrow against Scherzer. Absolutely. They explode for seven runs in the sixth inning. But be honest with me. When they got the, the runners on the corners, two outs, two strikes on Russell Martin, a guy who struggled at the plate all year long, what were you thinking was going to happen? Did you thought that, you know, he's probably going to strike out again? He already had two strikeouts in the game. Look, let's be honest. And everybody loves Russell Martin. But let's really be honest. There was not a Dodger fan. It was not sitting there thinking, if you're ever going to hit for somebody in this situation, why aren't you hitting for Russell Martin? Because he has struggled. But, you know, Russell Martin also is a guy that has come up with some big plays and big hits in his career. He's beloved by his teammates. He's a great receiver when he's in the game catching Ryu. So Dave rolled the dice. And not only did it pay off then, it paid off later in the game he had a home run. I mean, this has been his off best offensive game maybe all year long, and it couldn't have come at a better time. Yeah, you know, if Ryu doesn't start this game, a lot was made about Kershaw starting in game two instead of three. If Ryu doesn't start this game, Russell Martin is not behind the plate. And as he told me earlier in the season, don't let the old guys get hot. It's him tonight and Justin Turner with the three-run home run. How about the old guys, Fred? Well, it was, you know, it, it was heartening to see it, and I thought it was critical for Justin Turner. He's been battling an injury for most of September. Didn't play as many games as you would have thought. And for him to have the ability, and it was a back, back injury, back issue. For him to be able to hit the ball out of the park tonight was monstrous for the Dodgers. I mean, this really couldn't have hit at a better time. Now, they're going to have their hands full tomorrow with Max Scherzer, but thank goodness they have that cushion, and they have a little breathing room now. Yeah, you know, as we look into tomorrow, the, the Nationals thought they were playing with house money. They switched, go Scherzer in Game 4 instead of Game 3. The plan was to maybe they'd have a 2-1 lead, but if not, you know, they have a chance to even the series tomorrow. Rich Hill, though, starting for the Dodgers, hasn't pitched meaningful innings, really, since June 19th of this year, struggling with the knee and the elbow issue. So what do you think we're going to see from Rich Hill tomorrow in Game 4? I, I'll tell you what I hope we see. I hope we see four great innings. That's what you need. And and if anybody can do it, look, he, he probably shouldn't be walking, let alone playing baseball. But he is a, an incredible person, will not be denied. He says he can go. So I'm going to believe him. I'm going to think that he will be able to go four innings tomorrow. If he can give the Dodgers four innings and they're in the game, remember, Scherzer is going to go five. I don't think he'll go more than that. He'll probably throw too many pitches. They'll go back to that bullpen. And when the Dodgers get to their bullpen, they're in good shape. So if Hill can give them four, and then you bring somebody in for two, that's six, and then just go inning by inning and let's get out of here and go home. Yeah, he'll always rises to the occasion, especially the last two World Series, but we're forgetting that X factor, the rain. Maybe maybe that works in the Dodgers' favor and knocks Scherzer out of the game. If there's a long delay, we'll see what happens tomorrow. Yeah, I'll be curious to see if we get it in at the beginning. It's 50% chance of rain. We had drizzles here a little while ago, nothing heavy, but it, it, the forecast is for rain tomorrow. So we'll see if we start on time, if there's a delay, how long it lasts, or if we get it in at all. And well, guys, the Dodgers have been wearing these October rain shirts all postseason long. They will get actual, literal October rain tomorrow. We'll see what happens. Fred and I will be back for Game 4 postgame wrap-up then.